with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in City for a much anticipated main event. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. How you do? Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Count one is underway. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, so I'm not the power puncher. Then he's technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. To the head. Solid left hand to the head. Alvarez's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And he's hope. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. this round here. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. One came in here with a game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's gonna move a little bit, start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. A razor sharp uppercut. Ricardo Alvarez is. <laughs> Targeting that belt line with the right hand. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Throws a counter punch there. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? I mean, you are winning this fight. Hey, don't get careless, okay? Don't fight his fight. Straight right hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Let it go.
frustrating his opponent with great defense. Alvarez's right hand scores well that time. Halfway through round number two. <gasps> Able to dismiss it. Doubling up the jab by Alvarez. Good left hand able to land. Chico's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Alvarez. Good flush shot upstairs. Ellie ties up there. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Chico's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Seconds to go in this round. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's popping. Positive, you know that he had a good round. Need to cover up more, okay? And round number three is underway. The midst of the straight right. Right to the body. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. There you go. Good way to protect the midsection. Keep your head moved. Oh, you're doing great. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Alvarez is left now getting into the mix. Finish with a hook. That's it. That's it. Oh. Good biting, snapping shot by Chico. Good defense just covering up down low. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Blocks that belt line well. Chico's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Is it raw skill? Is it technique? What's the answer for him? Why is he missing so many punches and tiring himself out here? It's forgetting about the idea. The idea that it's not enough just to throw a punch. You have to have a plan to land it. You know, you have to have a missile to get it to the target. Otherwise, what does it do? Just blows up, makes a hole in the ground, and when it rains, guess what? You go swimming. He's going to go swimming later. 
Nice work, nice work. Oh, you got this one. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Smart jab by Alvarez. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Relax. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? I want to see that counter hook make him pay for his mistakes. There's no need to fight his style. You're not... Always good to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what he's done tonight on Teddy's scorecard, sweeping the first three rounds. Well off the mark by Chico. A headshot blocked. He got hit, but he sends it right back. One, two. One, two. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Now hugging on the inside. Very accurate with the overhand right. Nice block by Chico. Halfway through round number four. Little head knocking with that right hand. Beat him to the punch. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Wanted to do that as he holds on there. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, this is gonna be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself. Let's get him Let's get him do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. He 
he's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you find a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, he is stunned. He could. What a big shot. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Halfway into round number five here. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Able to cover up that gut. Alvarez's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, he takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good, because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to, to impose himself have, on him. You don't have to slug it out with him. You're going to tie yourself out. Kick your shots. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. That's it, just like that. He is damaged badly there. He may. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. That was a big shot that poured him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. And it's over. This fight is over. Chico's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Alvarez is fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.